Every year, UMC celebrates our trauma survivors, those patients who just weren't expected to live and survived against all odds. Photojournalist Dave Metter takes us to this year's Trauma Survivors Celebration. One, two, three. <laughs> uh, for us at the Trauma Center, this is, is literally the best day of the year for us. Uh, this is a very special celebration we have that uh, recognizes some of the patients that we've had over the last year. Um, some of the miraculous cases, uh, you know, some people that really probably shouldn't be with us if it weren't for the hard work of the people that uh, uh, are, are there every single day at UMC uh, Trauma. To have you come back and just celebrate your stories and to celebrate your successes is really, really a great day for all of us. Um, fell asleep driving, uh, went through a yard and a pipe on the chain link fence, came through the windshield, went through uh, my face and came out the back side of my head. You know, the pipe was resting on my carotid artery. Uh, went past the, the vein up by my jugular. I mean, there's so many things that it missed, literally just miracle after miracle. I, I don't know how. Doctors were incredible. Um, every one of them took time to sit and, and chat with me, explain to me what happened. Um, and and I, I just, I can't thank them enough. Those. Those gentlemen that worked on me, uh, there's no words to describe how amazing they are. They're, they're just so skilled at what they do, and they brush it off and, and take it so lightly and say, oh, it's nothing, it's not a big deal, but it really, you know, they saved my life. So we're just pleased that when you need us, we're here to give you the right care, the right place, the right time. Uh, the driver bailed from the vehicle, and I gave Chase. Uh, Chase went through three separate yards when I was, uh, about 10 yards within uh, apprehension on the subject. He turned around and fired, I think it was three rounds. I caught two of the rounds. Uh, one in my vest, one in my leg. The one in my leg uh, severed my femoral artery. Uh, then my partner, uh, Crystal Blanc, hopped over the wall and neutralized the threat to me. And then uh, they started rendering aid. What they didn't know at the time was that it did in fact sever my femoral artery. So I bled out in the backyard. Uh, the trauma center it took them uh, 15 minutes to revive me. Once they revived me again, I flatlined again, and it was kind of like a tug of war for my life, if you will. But uh, the staff, you know, they did a, they did an awesome job in, in taking care of me. I don't think there's a finer trauma center in, in the world, let alone the United States. Uh, it was definitely top-notch care. I never felt um, that I was neglected or anything. I felt like I was receiving the, the top care possible, and uh, they definitely work miracles. It's not the big things in life that matter, it's the little things in life that you come to cherish, especially after you've had an experience as many of you in the room have had. So with that, I just want to say I think that we all learn from, from you, uh, you're an inspiration to all of us. And at the hospital, we train medical students and uh, surgery residents and emergency medicine docs. Uh, we also train nurses. Uh, we have an agreement we train with the military. Uh, the, the people from Nellis Air Force Base come down and train with us. And, um, you know, we train across the, the, the spectrum, all, all the technicians and nurses and social workers and everything. So it's a huge team that it takes to, to bring patients like you through our system and out the other side in good standing order. So.